Prep F Theory Book, page 16, Identifying Seventh Chords. Remember, when we're identifying the letter name of a chord, we have to ask the first question, is it stacked in thirds? If it's line, 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 or space, 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 the root is the letter name of the chord, the bottom note. For example, C, E, G, that's stacked in thirds. If it's stacked in thirds, line, 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 or space, 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 the bottom note is the root, the root is the name of the chord. That's a C major chord. If it's not stacked in thirds, such as this C chord, it's still a C chord because it's not stacked in thirds, so we find the top of the fourth. This is a third, this is a fourth, the top of the fourth. That's the letter name of the chord, that's the root, that's the letter name C major. What if there isn't a fourth, instead there is a second, such as this chord? Well, it's the top of the second. So, if it's not stacked in thirds, then there must be a second or a fourth. If it's a fourth, like this, the top note of the fourth is the root. If it's a second, the top note of the second is the root. This chord is a C major chord. The top of the fourth is a C, therefore it's a C major chord. The top of the second is a G. Because there's a second in there, that means it's a G7 chord. So let's look at these G7 chords and all the other seven chords that are in there. The first one, where the bass clef is, where we have to identify the letter name, drawing the arrow to, the answer is given to us, G7, because the top of the second is a G. Draw an arrow to that note, that's the letter name, and because there's a second in it, the letter name also has a seven. The next chord, if we go from bottom to top, it's C sharp, G, and A. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. The top of the second, letter name is A. Draw an arrow to that. Therefore, the name of this chord is an A7. The next chord, from bottom to top, F sharp, C, D. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. The top note of the second is D. Therefore, this is a D7 chord. The next chord, C sharp, G, A. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. The top of the second is an A. Therefore, this chord is an A7. The next chord from bottom to top, B, F, G. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. The top of the second is a G. Therefore, this chord is a G7. The next chord, F sharp, C, D. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. The top of the second is a D, therefore this chord is a D7. The next chord, B, F, G. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. The top note is a G, therefore this is a G7 chord. The next chord, F sharp, C, D. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. The top note of the second is D, therefore this is a D7 chord. The last chord in this line, bottom note is C sharp, G, A. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. Top of the second is A, therefore this is an A7 chord. Let's go down to the bottom of the page for chord quiz review. The first chord is C, E, G. 
Is it stuffed in thirds? Yes. The bottom note is the root. Therefore, this is a C major chord. The next chord from bottom to top, G, C, E. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? There's a fourth. The top note of the fourth is C. Therefore, this is also a C major chord. Make sure you draw an arrow to that middle C. The next chord from bottom to top, G space, B space, D space. Is it stacked in thirds? Yes. Therefore, the bottom note is the root. Draw an arrow to it. This is the G major chord. The next chord from bottom to top, B, D, G. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes, there's a fourth. The top note of the fourth is a G. Draw an arrow to that G. Name it G major chord. The next chord from bottom to top, D, G, B. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. The top of the fourth is G. Draw an arrow to that G space. The name of the chord is G major. The next chord from bottom to top, B, F, G. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes, there's a second. Draw an arrow to the G at the top. Because there's a second in it, this would be a G7 chord. The next line, D, F sharp, A. Is it stacked in thirds? Yes. Draw an arrow to that D on the bottom. This is a D major chord. The next chord, F sharp, C, D. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. Draw an arrow to the top of the second. That's the D. Because there's a second in there, it makes it a D7 chord. The next chord, F sharp, A, D. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes, there's a fourth. The top note is a D. Draw an arrow to that D. This is a D chord, not a D7. The next chord, C, E, A. I think they left out a sharp sign on that note. I think that there needs to be a sharp sign so that we can end up with an A chord there. I think that's a typo. Let's draw a sharp sign for that C on the bottom. C sharp, E, A. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. The A is the top of the fourth. Draw an arrow to that A. Therefore, this is an A chord, A major. Not A minor, we haven't learned any A minors yet. The next chord, A sh C sharp, G space, A line. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. Top note of the second is A. Because there's a second in it, we need to call this an A7 chord. The last chord, C, F, a. Is it stacked in thirds? No. Is there a second or a fourth? Yes. Top of the fourth is F. Draw an arrow to that F. It's an F major chord. Well done.